what's going on youtube welcome back to the channel if you're brand new to the channel if you enjoy the content make sure to subscribe turn the notice on so guys don't miss the video also follow me on my twitter and on my twitch where i stream daily all right today i got a i got finally my first new on modern warfare 2 and uh i was not able to record on my obs with my webcam so i'm gonna talk over and i'm gonna give you guys my opinion about the game uh also tips uh, for loadouts and how to play and you know all the modes and everything i'm gonna talk over the gameplay uh i hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and also if you guys are brand new here don't forget to subscribe all right and uh i'm gonna show you guys the loadout at the end of the video all right thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next one all right guys uh i'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion about the game and, uh also i'm gonna give you guys some tips and uh things that you can do things you can't do uh, what you should do, what guns to use, and stuff like that. And uh, I tried so many times to get this new guys, but this Call of Duty plays extremely different from any other Call of Duty that you guys have played before. Uh, the minimap doesn't work as the older uh, Call of Duties. Also, the Modern Warfare 2019 didn't have the minimap, but also the maps, uh, some maps were smaller than those that we have right now uh, in the beta. And uh, I was testing a lot of weapons to see, you know, what gun would be viable to get a nuke with. Uh, some weapons, they might work for short range. Some weapons might not work. And for me, my, 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 my best, my best SMG right now is the 74U and AR M4, right? We have the M13, there's also the FAL version of the M4. Um, but first thing I want to tell you guys is this Call of Duty, people play exactly like Rainbow Six Siege. You guys will see. People lean to the left, to the right. Uh, people hold angles. Uh, people, they find a corner uh, with a wall and mount their weapons. Uh, you have to play super passive. I can't play as I used to play on Modern Warfare. I used to play like pushing everyone on whatever map I was like playing. Uh, Shipman, Shithouse, Piccadilly, whatever map, whatever map I was playing on Modern Warfare 2019. I was always like pushing people, you know, Dead Silence, UAV, Advanced UAV. Uh, but on this game, a lot of people use Ghost first off. Uh, half of the lobby is going to have Ghost. Uh, also, if you go in the middle of the map, you're gonna get lasered and you're gonna die in the blink of an eye. Because the TTK on this game is very low. I think it, it, it is the lowest I've ever seen. I don't even think like Vanguard has a TTK like this. It's super, super low, guys. So, the only way to get a nuke is if you play passive. You, you, gotta, you gotta camp a little bit, you gotta play passive, play smart. If you go in the middle of the map, capturing flags, you know, crossing, you know, the middle of the the, mar the market over there, you'll die. You're gonna get lasered, trust me. I, I, that happened to me so many times in the beta. So, if you guys are trying to get a nuke, don't, don't go right there. Don't go, you know, like, I'm right now I'm in the middle of the map, don't go there. Right? Trust me, don't go, you're gonna get lasered. And I almost died. There's like a lot of grenades, the stun grenades, the flashbangs. Uh, you guys have to play super passive. So if you guys are trying to get a nuke, uh, you guys gotta stay either on this side of the map or on the other side uh, on the around the the A flag, right? Uh, also, I was running Ghost at my as my last perk. There's uh, I think only one or two options of perks that includes uh, Ghost, uh, and also people sound horror a lot in this game because the footsteps are so loud. If you start like sprinting all over the map. You're gonna get, you're gonna die by a camper. You know, you're gonna get killed by a camper. So I I I noticed that a lot of people like pushing B all the time and C, and they're always coming this way towards this building. So like, you know what? I'm gonna just stay here and defend B and A, and uh, that's gonna be easier to get a nuke. But the only problem is I don't have scavenger, so it was really hard to keep up with you know using the enemy's like weapons uh i grabbed the ak-74u and then i got a, a fal version of the m4 with like the so socom right it's like the semi-auto it's really good but sometimes 
it doesn't do damage. It's weird. You gotta hit like headshot. And then I think like you kill the enemies like you one or two bullets. Two bullets, I'll say. But uh, if you hit like chest or legs, it might take like four shots, maybe. But if you guys hit like upper torso or head, it's like it's very overpowered. So that was not my loadout, I was using the M4. I test like a lot of builds for the M4 and then they started like spawning all over me. And then I, I started getting nervous, guys. I got so nervous. My hands were shaking and sweating so much. Uh, like, bro, I'm, I almost died over there, you guys. I, I went to like check the B flag. Like, bro, I, I nearly died. And I had that silence. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take advantage that I have like four guys behind me. I mean, in front of me, I'm behind them. So I'm gonna push them. Um, it's like free kill. It's like free kills. If you guys have uh, dead silence to push people, use it. It's literally free kills. Uh, but that's my advice. If you guys are trying to get a nuke, don't go in the middle of the map. Don't go at all. Let them do their thing. They capture the flag and stuff like that. And you guys defend one area. And that's it. Um, what else can I say? People play very tactical. On Modern for 2, people play super tactical. Holding angles, mounted on, on walls. Uh, people are gonna, you know, sit in corners, uh, sit in a window, mounted. Uh, and on this map, it's easier like to, to hold angles. Uh, but there's like the other map, I, I think farm. Uh, farm, I, I lost a nuke to a guy sitting the, on the back of the map, laying prone with a, using an M4 with a four times scope. So, that, there's no nuke in the game, by the way. There's no nuke. You get a, a juggernaut icon, but there's no nuke. I think they're going to add a nuke when the game comes out. And uh, hopefully it's going to be easier to get a nuke, you know, because you, you have to play super passive, bro. The footsteps are so loud in this game. If you start, like, sprinting all over the map, you'll die. Trust me. The enemy's going to hear you, and then it's going to stop uh, running and sit in a corner and wait for you to to appear you know um uh, i'm trying to like this game guys i'm 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 being honest i'm gonna keep it like i'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck i didn't pre-order the game yet i'm testing you know i'm giving like a chance i don't like the tk it's super low it feels like i'm playing hardcore it's k super low guys the guns they have like a a weird feeling um it's not like even recoil it's the aiming, the aiming stability. On this game, the guns shake a lot to the left and to the right. Uh, the only guns that don't shake a lot, I think, is the MP5 and the C58. But uh, it all comes with a price of, you know, slow ADS, slow movement, um, not having suppressor. The suppressor uh, removes the damage. A lot of guns... Uh, a motor for two when you put a suppressor on it uh you you lose damage lose a lot of damage the m4 is one of them for example that's why on my m4 i don't use a suppressor uh also um i'm gonna show you guys the class setup at the end of the video uh give it a try i tried like a, a bunch of builds uh, for the m4 and this one with no suppressor it has uh more mobility and the ADS is not too slow you guys see like I'm on unstoppable there's no new you guys get you guys get uh you guys just get a metal saying juggernaut and then unstoppable but there's no new guys but that's my advice you guys gotta play super passive you guys start running capturing flags going in the middle of the map you guys are definitely gonna die trust me there's a gonna, there's gonna have a guy sniping or a guy mounted in a window or on a wall and as soon as you appear you're gonna get you're gonna get lasered trust me uh but so far the only maps that i like uh i like this map this map is kind of okay to be honest this map is okay uh, the what is the other one uh the farm one the farm one is my favorite farm is my favorite but it has some places that people camp it's kind of annoying but uh hopefully when the game launches we're gonna get like some amazing maps some wonderful two bangers and uh that's basically it guys 
give me my honest opinion. I'm gonna give a, a less chance on the second weekend of the beta. And uh, I did not pre-order the game yet. All right. If I like the second weekend of the beta, I will pre-order the game. But so far, I didn't pre-order the game, guys. Also, the 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 bouncing baddies are so overpowered in this game because uh, they stun the enemies, and they also, uh, besides that, besides stunning the enemies, the bouncing baddies they also even if you go prone, you take damage. So it's completely different from uh, it's completely different from um, you know um, from Modern Warfare 2. If you go prone, you don't take any damage, right? But on on this game, uh, you take damage even if you go prone, and you get stunned also. I want to show you guys this this part here in the. You guys see what I'm saying? Like the the guns when they have suppressor, they're super inconsistent, right? Uh, also, this gun that I was talking about, the SOCOM version of the M4, uh, sometimes it kills with two bullets, sometimes it doesn't kill like even with even with four bullets. Look, I'm gonna push this guy. This guy I killed with uh, two or three bullets, and then I'm gonna die to this one. I shot him three times. You see what I'm saying? I hit like chest and I. One shot lag and then two shots uh, at chest and he didn't die. But that's basically it, guys. Uh, I'm going to wait for Ground War. I think this Thursday we're getting Ground War. Uh, hopefully it's going to be a banger, you know. Uh, it's going to play completely different from Modern for 2019. And also it's going to play super different from 6 to 6. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's going to... You're going you're gonna to have to play passive. If you go... Like rushing people around the map, you, you're gonna die to a sniper or die to, you know, a tank shooting you. You know, there's it, the tanks are bad, guys. I hate those tanks. But that's it, guys. You guys, my honest opinion. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys pre order the game or not. And how you guys, how you guys like the game so far. I wanna, I wanna know about you guys, if you guys like the game or not. And, uh, I'm kind of enjoying right now because I'm getting like used to it, but the movement is different. Everything the soldier does is, is slow. There's no dead silence as a perk. You, can, you only start the game with two perks and then you start earning perks um, like during the match. Um, and uh, Ghost, I think in one of the classes, Ghost is the last perk. But I'm pretty sure when the game comes out, it's going to be completely different. But they change a lot of stuff in Modern Warfare. The guns, they have a different feeling, different recoil. Movement is completely different. The people, uh, the way the people play are, is also exactly like, it's like a mix of Battlefield with Rainbow Six Siege. It doesn't feel, it does not feel like Call of Duty, guys. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm trying to like the game, you know, I'm being honest. I'm trying to like the game. That's, that's it, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, the video, and... Um, let me show you guys the, the class setup right now. And I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are brand new here, also subscribe, all right? Let's go to the class now. Peace! All right, guys. I removed my webcam so you guys can see the attachment. So I was using the Barrel Tempus High Tower 20. And then Pineapple Vert Grip. This is going to help a lot with a lot of the gun kick and the recoil. And it's not going to make your, your gun, like, slow. And then I was using Armor Piercing. Um, uh, and then Accent Grip for Sprint to Fire in ADS And then No Talk for Mobility and Sprint to Fire And I was not using a Optic, alright? And uh, make sure make sure you guys have the receiver as the M41, okay? So that's it guys, that was my favorite class setup so far It's basically the same one that I used on, on Modern Warfare 2019 But it has more recoil and gun kick uh, than Modern Warfare 2019, definitely, alright? So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are brand new here, subscribe. Love you guys. Enjoy your week. I'm going to try to post a video every day here on the channel until uh, Thursday. And that's it, guys. Love you guys. I appreciate, appreciate all your support. And that's you guys on the next one. Peace.